Well, I hope that that's been useful and challenging and encouraging as you think about your own professional path, what you're carving out for yourselves. What we want to do at this point is to allow you to ask some questions of our speakers. So I'm going to give the mic back and we'll just I'll try to moderate this. If you've got a question, if you could raise your hand and stand and let us hear from you. Jen. Thank you all so much for your comments. I appreciate that so much in my career. Um, I feel like for many of us, it's a fight. Um, in your school, the semester that um, subsidized loans ended, um, the recession caused many of our APA internships to disappear. And we fight, we fight just to survive the program um, on top of the looming experience of just being a graduate student. I appreciated so much your comments about self-care and taking care of yourself and um, participating in your own experience of therapy. Um, I was curious um, to the other um, doctors in the room, um, how do you deal with, with self-care and stress um, in your professional lives? I'm a big proponent other things, um, exercise, all those those kind of things. And I, and I journal too, I try to get things out. And I guess the other thing I would say is what I was saying about collegiality and being able to tell other colleagues, especially when you're having difficult cases, you're having a difficult time. I seek counseling when necessary. And I'd like to report that all my family are still alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> none of them have been injured by me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a major accomplishment of my life. <laughs> and my counselors. 